So we're going to look today at the reaction of metals with acids. The first thing we need to know is a general equation for when uh, metals react with acids. And the general equation is that a metal reacts with an acid to make uh, something called a salt, which we'll talk about more in a minute, and hydrogen gas. So all of these reactions would um, you would see bubbles of hydrogen gas being produced. So we're actually going to start by looking at um, what a salt is effectively. And it's the easiest if we think about the reaction between lithium and a really straightforward acid, which is hydrochloric acid. Now, I'm just drawing a sort of particle diagram here uh, where um, I've got a lithium metal atom uh, and hydrochloric acid. So the salt that's formed is when we replace the hydrogen that's in the acid with a metal ion. And that's the definition of a salt, actually, when we replace the hydrogen in an acid with a metal ion. ion. So the salt formed is lithium chloride we replace this hydrogen with the lithium so we make lithium chloride and it produces hydrogen gas now this isn't actually a correct chemical equation at the moment um, i'll show you the proper one underneath so lithium chloride and lithium chloride is an example of a salt because it's being formed when we replace the hydrogen in the acid with the metal ion and it obviously produces hydrogen gas now, the actual equation is slightly more complicated because hydrogen exists as H2 molecules. So this reaction effectively happens twice. And rather than just making a single hydrogen atom, it makes a hydrogen molecule here. So let's actually think about defining that term salt. And that's the product formed when a metal ion replaces the hydrogen in an acid. So this idea about salts, we're going to come across quite a lot in our study of uh, chemical reactions. Let's have a look at another example with a different acid. So I'm going to have a look now at the reaction of sodium. So I've got one sodium metal atom there, and this time I'm going to react it with nitric acid. And nitric acid has a hydrogen, a nitrogen, and three oxygen atoms in it. But the important thing is that it's got a hydrogen attached to this nitrate ion. Now we remember what the salt is. We replace the hydrogen in the acid with a metal ion. So we have sodium nitrate and hydrogen. Remember that this isn't actually a proper chemical equation yet. Um, I'm going to be dealing with uh, balanced chemical uh, symbol equations for these in a future video. So I'm just putting this here now uh, so that you can see what I've done here. OK, so well, there's three acids that we need to know about, hydrochloric acid, nitric acid and sulfuric acid. And for the rest of this video, we need to be able to work out the name of the uh, salt that is formed. And we're going to have a look at three reactions of iron. We're going to look at the reaction with hydrochloric acid. With nitric acid and with sulfuric acid. So iron and hydrochloric acid make the salt iron chloride and also produces hydrogen gas. Iron and nitric acid make the salt iron nitrate and also makes hydrogen gas. And finally, Iron and sulfuric acid make the salt iron sulfate.
Again, in the future videos, we'll see why they've got these names. But if we just think about it, in every case, the metal name is the first part of the salt. And then a bit of the acid name makes up the second part of the name of the salt. Okay, so if we were going to write um, a summary of these, of, of our different salts made, then we could talk about any metal reacting with hydrochloric acid to make a metal chloride. And all we have to do is replace the word metal there with any particular example of a metal. The metal and sulfuric acid makes a metal sulfate and then a metal and nitric acid makes a metal nitrate. Thank you very much.